is Heidi Moore reporting for the Alliance Conflict News, August 7, 2160. Today, Alliance Command reported that a network of early warning satellites and defense fortifications are now in place surrounding our newly established bases around Neptune in a bid to protect our now regrouped civilian and military forces. Alliance Command is confident that the sector is secure and that further consolidation is possible. With the fall of Fort Arthur and with Fort Rushmore under constant attack, escaping Alliance ships continue to fall back to the relative safety of Neptune. The stream of incoming refugees has continued as a result of the fall of Fort Arthur. Military sources are sure that this influx cannot last much longer because there is little chance of stragglers making it through the coalition frontline positions. In more news, the U.S. squadron, the Hellcats, has been reassigned from Neptune's home defense fleet to the carrier ANS Endeavor. Alliance Command indicates that the Endeavor is now ready for full operational duties. This is Heidi Moore for the Alliance Conflict News. Signing off until next time. Everyone seated? Okay, let's get started. As you know, the Alliance is hanging on by a thread. The Coalition have us cornered, and supplies are running critically low. Due to our situation, Command has ordered several fully laden mammoth carriers that were trapped behind enemy lines to assemble and prepare to make a run for Alliance territory. Because of the long-range nature of this mission, the Reliant will not be available for backup. Her presence would arouse too much Coalition interest. Therefore, you are on your own. Upon rendezvous at NAV.3, you will take up escort positions and provide fighter cover up to the Alliance forward line, where you will be relieved at Fort Sherman. I am sure you're all aware of the importance of this mission. Let's not disappoint. All right, lock and load, people. Good luck out there. Dismissed.